today we are going to upgrade the snake room. Currently our snake room is a closet under the stairs. These were racks. It's a hatchling rack I made and an adult rack. And as you can see from this angle, they are under the stairs. There's some custom snake hooks I made. And over here we have an incubator. And a couple of California king snakes on top. But we are going to move all of this. The exhaust fan, heat, the electric, everything to a bigger closet. It's over here. Let's show you. So we're moving to another closet, a bigger closet. I already started prepping it. This is it. It's got electric. It's got water. It's got drainage pipes. Working on the electric right now. And I put a hole for an exhaust fan up here. And we're getting ready to paint. And start taping up and closing up all these gaps. Put the exhaust fan in. And really just start getting things in here. Put a sink in today. We got a sink right here. New light fixture, LED. We're with this old dinosaur. All right, let's keep going. All right, here we are. Excited. Done a lot of work in here, and I'm gonna paint it up. Get the exhaust fan ducting in. Put it this wall. This is gonna be the like second so screw stuff to it. This is where the sink's gonna be. Uh, fix that outlet. Just gonna throw some paint on it. It doesn't have to be fancy in here. I did run my extra cord in through, but I'll give you a look at it. This ugly ass door. This is it, and that's gonna get painted, and we'll see how much different it looks after the paint. Alright, stay with us. <laughs> Alright, I've got a pretty good coat of paint on, painted the door, painted the walls. And pretty much painted when we get the exhaust fan down here for now. Just kind of a Yeah. So I haven't painted the extension for it. <laughs> My son's playing original Sonic the Hedgehog on Sega Genesis. So, I'll keep you updated. We'll see how it turns out. Alright, back at it. Rebuilding the snake room. Made some progress. We painted and we installed a sink. It's going to be so nice having a sink right here. Get the exhaust fan in. It's all painted up. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right. Let's check out the final results. Whoa. Here we go. We got the snake hook storage hanging up there. It's pretty cool. I made all those. We got a hatchling slash grow out rack. We've got our incubator, some eggs in it, heat, a couple king snakes, put some shelves in. This is how we keep track of feedings. It's fancy high tech. Put a camera here to keep track of the thermostat when I'm not around. Get the beauty of water in the snake room. And this is, I use this for dumping. This thing was like four bucks on Amazon. It's great for dumping water bottles out, water tubs out that have cocoa blocks in them. I actually use Pro Cocoa because there's a guy local that sells it to me. This is my big homemade rack, it's on wheels. If you want to see a cool video on building racks, check out Lucas Landon. 
it does some good. I wire these all individually and they're plugged into a power strip back there that is plugged into a Herbstat 2. But that's pretty much it. You know, I think it came out great. We have an exhaust fan on a timer, it runs a lot. And uh, I think the room came out good. I'm super happy with it. We have a lot more space than we used to. Show you guys a pretty snake while I'm here. One of our biggest girls, or our biggest girl. She is a Butter Extreme Jean. Look at that yellowing in here. You don't see that on a normal butter. She's a beauty. She's been bred several times to a clown male, and I think she's about to pop in the next couple days. Let's hope. Look at that pro coco. I like Pro Coco. This is the girl that gave us our first clutch ever. She's a super pastel, 100% head clown. Of course, she's about to shed. She's a beaut. Chai Mojave girl, well she's deep in shed. She's also been bred to clown male. A lot of clown stuff going on here. Thanks for checking it out. That's the room. Thanks for coming along on the build. I'm gonna put another rack on top of this one here. It's gonna be FB40s, some shoe boxes, grow out type rack or for males that like a small enclosure. I'll update you when that goes in. Thanks for watching.